as far as the organization of genetic material in bacteria is concerned they typically have a single circular chromosome a single circular chromosome is present inside the cell and this chromosome consists of a single circular molecule of dna this dna is associated with some proteins the bacterial chromosome is very long because it consists of a single molecule of dna and it may be up to 1 mm long which is several times long than the length of the cell so uh, this dna molecule is looped and folded and at some points it is attached with the plasma membrane of the cell for example here you can see in this cell bacterial cell this bacterial chromosome is present you can see the chromosome is folded and looped at various points and it is also linked or attached with the plasma membrane at different points so this is uh, the chromosome of a bacterial cell so let us talk uh, how this uh, single molecule of dna is organized into a chromosome or uh, into a uh, chromatin body which is called nucleoid so specific proteins interact with the bacterial dna to form a highly condensed nucleoprotein complex which is called nucleoid so different proteins they interact with the dna molecule and they uh, form this highly condensed uh, structure which is called nucleoid so a nucleoid is present in the cell of bacterium bacterial chromatin can be released this chromatin or uh, uh, nucleoid that can be released from the cell uh, when we gently lyse the cell for example when the cell is uh, gently uh, lysed or broken down this nucleoid or chromatin can be released from the cell and this nucleoid can be visualized under the electron microscope and if we see it under the electron microscope it reveals that it consists of multiple loops which emerge from a central region of the chromatin so there is a central region in this chromatin and many loops they emerge from this central region for example some of the loops are super coiled while some are relaxed so uh, in this chromatin some loops are highly coiled while some are comparatively relaxed relaxed loops how they are formed relaxed loops are formed as a result of a nick or a break introduced into a super coiled loop by a cellular dnas because in the bacterial cells dnas dnas is an enzyme that uh, breaks down uh, dna molecule so these dnas are present in the cell and sometimes these super coiled dna they are nicked by these dnas so if a super coiled loop is nicked it become relaxed loop for example here you can see this is uh, the electron micrograph of chromatin and you can see in this chromatin there is a central portion and from this central portion several loops are emerging in this representation you can see this is the central core of proteins and several highly condensed or highly coiled loops are emerged here this loop you can see this loop it is relaxed loop so uh, sometime this was initially super coiled and sometimes a uh, dna is uh, nicked this loop and it became uh, relaxed how these uh, super coiled loops are formed because the dna molecule dna molecule is actually a linear molecule in the bacteria 
so look at this this is the dna molecule which is linear and then it becomes a circular because a circular dna molecule is present in the bacteria and then this circular dna supercoils and if the supercoiling continues it becomes highly condensed so in this way the dna molecules are highly condensed in the chromatin